Hey guys, welcome to my uh, fourth video log. So today I'm tasked with uh, working on a project to get my kayaks that are uh, stored over here for the time being up onto my truck uh, for when I head to the beach here in about a month. So my truck's over here, obviously, as you can see, and um, you know, yeah, they'll definitely fit in the back of the truck, you know, with the tailgate down. The problem is I'm going to have a lot of gear going to the beach for about a week. So uh, the plan is to uh, build some sort of rack system that I can put uh, a rack up here on the bed rails and then set the, the kayaks up here. Um, I had some other rails here I'd used in the past for another, um, another vehicle. These were some sort of a rail system. Uh, there's the manufacturer anybody was interested in who makes them. Uh, I think they're more so used for uh, canoes and whatnot. It, it worked pretty well uh, when I did have a canoe and, and I had a cap on another truck. I could put them up there and the way they work is they had a, a sliding system that they use these uh, suction cups over here and that would just suction cup to your roof um, or to your tonneau cover and the, the system would actually, you know, bolt into these and it would slide. It allows for quite a bit of, um, you know, mobility when you're setting those up. So I figured I could use those um, up here on, on the truck. Now I went out and got some different hardware, some bolts, nuts, washers, things like that. Um, I also got some of these little, I think they're called socket caps where they use like an Allen wrench. Um, I didn't want to use standard um, or metric type sizes. I figured that might be too easy uh, for somebody just to come along with an adjustable wrench and start undoing them. So the idea is, let's see here, let's me grab one of them I haven't been playing around with here. Let's grab this one. All right, so the idea is that they're going to sit right on the edge. And that should support them, but I really don't like that. So I bought this piece of aluminum. Uh, and what the idea is, is those suction cups that, let's see if I can do this without, there's a lot of glare. Uh, these suction cups had these little mounts, which sit, <clears throat> would sit in the cradle, and it would allow for you, know, you to move it back and forth and, and whatever. So what I was going to do was take the aluminum, cut it into sections. It would sit right about like that with the, the bed rail. Now I drill into the bed rail back over here, you know, back into the, this area here uh, through the aluminum and uh, put some bolts. And then obviously in the top side here, drill a hole uh, for this uh, bolt and nut to um, to hold on to. So it'll be sort of like a piece of angle iron uh, for steel. Uh, I did have some steel, but I figured it would probably rust pretty quick. And um, aluminum is just, I'm going to be drilling a lot of holes. I, f I have a feeling and aluminum is just easier to drill through. Steel just for whatever reason takes me forever. Probably my bits are, are dull and, and whatnot. But the system is kind of cool because it allows you to pull these little pins here. Um, so it allows me to do some, some things where I can pull this thing out and there's holes underneath where it adjusts. So if I do have, you know, quite a bit of span of, you know, material, in this case kayaks, I can lay them. I probably won't lay them three, three wide. I'll probably lay the, uh, the one Pelican, uh, over here and it'll be, just be, be flat as normal. And then the other two, the the field and stream and then the, the future beach, the other one, probably either at an angle or maybe up on their sides. But anyway, that's, that's the project for today. Um, check back here in a little bit and see how far I get. I squared away. So I went ahead and cut this one plate. Uh, it's aluminum angle iron, two inch by two inch. Uh, and I cut into a six inch strip and drilled a hole uh, through it, through the uh, the bed rail there. Hopefully you can sort of see that. Um, most of it's 
okay, there are some sections there in the middle where I guess the previous owner just kept hooking these little ratchet straps and tying them really tight, and it sort of has this wave, but I should be able to pull some of those out because there's only there's only two spots I'm going to be using up and down this, this bed rail anyways. But it, uh, for the most part, it looks like it's going to work, so I'm going to drill another hole over here, and um, then I'll take this, which, like I said, slides, just uh, drill a hole in here, and uh, that will allow that to fit there. That'll pull that down tight, and uh, that should be it. Um, so otherwise, you know, it was a little tricky. I had to use, I got two different sizes. I got uh, three-quarter inch and then uh, half inch socket caps uh, unfortunately the half inch is just, just a little too short but the three quarter inch uh, seems to work well it doesn't seem to to bind up in there there really isn't much room but i can uh, i can get a small little nylon nut back up in there and, uh, and that should be it so otherwise i'm going to continue on and do the other other three sides and then when i'm done i'll uh, i'll show you guys where i'm at All right, guys, got this uh, squared away, uh, at least for the back. As you can see here, I, what I did is I put three, three bolts there, uh, drilled through the angle iron piece there, put a big washer with a, a lock washer underneath. I might need to remove that. Something doesn't look right there. Then I drilled this, so that'll allow me to extend this out and back. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty, pretty solid. I'm shaking the truck doing, doing, doing that. So anyways, yeah, should give me a pretty solid mounting point um, for uh, you know, mounting the kayaks up there. And uh, definitely a little bit more secure than what I had planned uh, originally, a little neater. Uh, here again, this way I can use the, the bed space for extra cargo um, and fishing gear uh, so that the kayaks aren't taking the bed space uh, in the back of the truck. So, all right, I'll finish up the other side and we'll uh, check back a few minutes later up there are the two rails uh, bolted as I mentioned earlier and sort of shown you know just the, the bracket there with the three bolts uh, socket cap I think is what they're actually called and then the bolt that goes through again, pretty stable because here you guys can probably see the motion so, it's like going anywhere it's shaking the truck so I'm going to say that that's, that's done. Um, here again, I can lock the tailgate, keep that stuff down in there, and then strap the kayaks up to it. So let's go ahead and put this for a test drive. Let's see if I can get this set up here. Give that a shot. <laughs> 